No, I want to talk no, about no, this. Just like game time. Yeah, oh. there's some news that we have to talk I like about. The but games. one of the things we didn't get a chance to talk about, at least I didn't, on Collider Jedi Council, they even, some fans tease on it that maybe Lucasfilm and, and Disney likes to announce big news right after Jedi Council goes off the air, uh, because they <laughs> announced we we had this whole conversation on Thursday about what it, a, a user had, had 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 sent in a question about. What um, series would you want to see out of any secondary category? Mine was Palpatine. I still think like a Tom Hiddleston rise to power Palpatine story, ten episodes. In Darth Plagueis. Yeah, yeah. That, that to me is still yeah. the series I want to see. I want see. that. Um, and then there was the announcement that Cassian Andor, yeah. Diego Luna's character mm -hmm. from Rogue One, is getting his own series. And people like, well, some people I saw were like, well, why? I like the idea, and I'll tell you why because of. Stuff they didn't explore in Rogue One that they explored in the novel, and that was that uh, Cassian Andor was a separatist, and inside. So if you're not familiar with Star yeah. Wars, the, the the separatists was what Count Dooku and Christopher Lee, and and basically what the Republic fought against it was the separatists, and that's what Cassian's family was were, were separatists. If they cover some of that stuff, because it's before the events of Rogue One, leading up to how he got involved in the Rebel uh, the Rebel Alliance, and and all that. His, this, this, this is the, could go dark. This is the making of the Rebel Alliance. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like it's already fully, not fully formed. Well, pretty much fully formed in Rogue One. So if you're going back with him, you know, why is he a part of this separatist? Yeah. When did he ch change over? This is a chance to get some prequel love in there, get some prequel kind of looks. Throw rebels in there too. Rebels. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we've saw it for animated. I get it when not a lot of people check it out. But for this, this will this will get a lot of eyes. Right? Yeah. People will go in yeah. there and want to see this. Yeah. Are you guys finding that people who don't want this are people who didn't like Rogue One? Um, oh, I don't know. I didn't really see any bad uh, no, the, people not. Yeah, I didn't it. see a, a ton of it. I just the ones that I did see was like, just because he was a secondary character. I was like that's who you're going with, and I think that that's the thing is with that character he wasn't explored deeply. And I think that this is one of the differences. Someone asked me this morning, why have I done this big switch from like wanting to see more television than movies? Because I can get more exploration of characters. I can yeah. learn so much that's more. That's the about, great part about TV. Yeah, I get ten episodes to figure out who this guy was and some great stuff to further the lore of Star Wars. And I. I I think that if someone said to me right now, you only could have Star Wars TV shows in this way. Not, I'm so glad because I was always scared about it when I heard like ABC was going to do it. I would not right. want ABC to do it. But the, a streaming service to where they're going to dump the kind of money they are, like Mandalorian style. If someone said to me, you can only get those types of TV series from now on or movies, I'm taking TV series all day long. Um, because perfect example, Mark Fernandez tweeted out today. Dear Disney and Lucasfilm, you know we want uh, we want an Obi Wan movie. I said f that. I want an Obi Wan series. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna give Loki a series, which I'm cool with, give Obi Wan ten episodes. Tell me all the stuff that happened throughout the time of Revenge of the Sith into now. And Ewan McGregor will come back. He's done TV. Did Fargo. He'll do some stuff. Get him back in. Make that a series. And that's a way more people, more subscribers. I'm in for that. I'm I'm not ready to go there yet until I see the goods. You That's know, fair. I want to see the Mandalorian. Everything looks great on paper. You got Taika Waititi coming in. You got Dave Filoni directing the pilot. These are all good things. But I want to see it. Yeah. I want to see how how deep are we going? Is it going to be a little dark? Is it going to be a little gritty? Or is it going to be, you know, very accessible to the masses? Once I see that, I love the idea of an Obi-Wan TV series. But I also love the idea of a trilogy or a movie just to see. But... But we know that, that we're on even hold. If you, even if you get a movie, right? So that's six hours, right? That's only trilogy. Six, yeah, yeah. It's six episodes as opposed to ten. You still sure. leave four more out there that you really, if you had him, I wouldn't want him to do it in the cheap version. I want him to do the same thing they're doing with Mandalorian, like a hundred million plus. Right? Yeah, it, I mean, and the reason I always want to go for Obi Wan, I kind of want a movie more because the character is huge, the the implications of the story are huge, big screen. That's what I like. Yeah, but. Mandalorian comes out and slam dunks it. Yeah. Just the home run, all the sports analogies you want. Then I'll be probably on more of your end. Yeah, I just think that as far as the, the goods, I think that they've shown the goods again when I show Stranger Things, Ozark, sure. Game of Thrones, first three seasons of Walking Dead. Like, you can really do some great stuff on, on TV. So.